Hey guys, today we're going to have a look at how to create some quick and easy imposters in Unity using InstaLod's toolkit. So here we have this dead tree and I want to create an imposter from this so we can look at this model from the distance and have a low poly representation but still maintain all of the necessary details. So what we're going to start off with is have a look at the imposterized tab. Now you'll probably be familiar with this from our standalone application in Solid Studio XL or from our other integrations. But let's have a quick look at the settings to see what is actually possible here. So first of all on the top we can see all of the different textures that are on this one single mesh. Then we've got the settings so we can change the different type of imposter. So we can use either the axis aligned bounding box imposter, a classic billboard, the hybrid billboard cloud and a flipbook. I'm going to be starting off with the classic billboard. And the gutter size in pixels is going to determine how much space we have in between each individual UV shell. Now in our case we are only going to create one single billboard so this isn't going to be too much of a worry for us. Then in the billboard settings, I can determine how many billboards I want for the individual axes. Now in my case, I'm going to have one single one on the Y, Z axes. So we also have two sided quads turned on. So in case I'm going to be looking at the billboard from the other side, that will also be very helpful. If we were only going to be seeing this imposter from one side, we could simply turn that off. The width and the height, I'm going to keep on 1K. That's absolutely fine for a billboard for the distance. Then we've got the source mesh UV channel and we can also turn on super sampling. In our case, I'm also going to keep this off. Then solidify texture pages, I'm going to keep on. This is very useful. And then on the bottom, we can determine what textures we actually want to bake out. Now in my case, I'm going to have the objects based normal map and the custom material textures. Now this includes the diffuse texture, but it also bakes out all of the other custom textures. And we can see this model does have a bunch. So we've got some mask textures, we've got some details, height and so on. So we're going to get all of those textures baked out correctly. So with that done, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and simply click Imposterize. So we're going to give that a few seconds to process. We can see this is very fast, just a little bit longer, and then we'll end up with our imposter. Okay, and there we go. Now for this specific shader, I need to make sure that alpha cutout enable is selected so that we get that displayed correctly. And then we're going to scroll down to the bottom and quickly check that the textures are all there where we want them to be. Now the roughness is a little bit off, I'm going to have to remap this quickly, so we're going to bring that down. That looks pretty good. And then I also have to change the normal map from tangent space to the object space because that is what we had selected in the bake output. So we're going to change that to the object space map and there we go. So now we have all of that set up correctly. So from a distance our imposter now looks very nice. The great thing is it interacts beautifully with the light as well. So if I were to create a quick light, let me go ahead and quickly do that. I'm just going to bring that intensity down a tad. There we go. And we can see that that interacts beautifully with the imposter. And as you would only see an imposter like this from the distance, you can get some really nice convincing results. Okay, so if we actually jump into the scene, we can see that we really get a fantastic illusion of the model. So what we see in front of us here is the same imposter that we've just created, where you can see that the light flows over it beautifully. I've gone ahead and animated a floating point light, so we can see that going up and down and giving us all of that beautiful shading. We can get right up close, but when we start rotating around, you can see it really is just a simple billboard imposter. So also from the back is looking really nice. The light shining through the trees are also going on there nicely. So overall a really, really nice result and super easy to do as you just saw. So I hope that this video was able to get you started with creating imposters within Unity and I hope to see you in the next video.